Honorable Speaker, the counsel that are appearing in this case are people that I hold in extremely high regard. Uh, Senior Counsel Paul Muite uh, appears to not have uh, the confidence uh, of the judges sitting here that we know how to treat evidence contained in an affidavit that is not tested at cross-examination. Even the judges you appear before uh, in the courts that you practice in know what to do with evidence of a person who is not availing themselves for cross-examination. So, Honorable Speaker, I really don't understand what the contention is. Because we sitting here as judges know how to treat that evidence. And I wanted to take this opportunity to calm uh, the anxiety of Senior Counsel Paul Mwiti that indeed we do know what to do with such evidence. Now, so that we make progress, so that we make progress, so that we make progress, Senior Counsel has raised uh, has raised uh, an important matter, which matter has been responded to by the Council for the uh, National Assembly. Now, Honorable Senators, there is an affidavit sworn by one um, Jomo Mushira, who had been listed to appear as a witness for and on behalf of the National Assembly. The National Assembly has closed its case without calling that particular witness. And yet, there's an affidavit that the counsel for the Deputy President will, have an will not have an opportunity to cross-examine. The question, as you retire at the end of this hearing, is to look at the probative value of that particular document. Senior counsel Paul Mwite, your point is valid. The senators have noted. And because this is uh, 